Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the Indiana Hoosiers. Number three is brings that upperclassman mentality and maturity his teammates need. This is the kind of upperclassman young players respond to. The Hoosiers will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Hoosiers should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. Number one, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Next. It's imperative that you win the battle of the boards. And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He gets it to fall. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Gave it up, takes the pass in the paint. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. The shooting guard handles the feed. Foul charge. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Finney is feeling great out there right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Gant receives the pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The shooting guard handles the pass. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. They go into the low block, in the paint. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Up and inside. Now trying to feed the low block or two. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Trying to feed the low block. Double team now, bad angle. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. He's got to get rid of it. He takes the shot. They let him get into a rhythm. They'll work it around the arc. Leans in. Border makes the finger roll. Nelson receives the ball. The crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Stolen away. And again, they look to run. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. He 
stays in control until they regroup the offense. He does the sweet fake shot. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The student body is rocking tonight. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Down inside, he pump fakes. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Picked out of the air. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. That's an 8-0 run. Now they work it around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's a bad pass right to the defender. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He attempts the trifecta. Gave it up. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. And they get the turnover. For two, perfectly executed. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen away. Trying to run the other way. Tries for two. There's the trap. Goes up for two. Illinois are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Pushes it up. Tough to pressure this kid. He's got great handle, man. And I love the way he's always looking up the court. Dump it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnover City, they'll always really negate any offense. On the outside. On the inside. Jumps in. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's a 10 nothing run.
play about ready to resume. They've left him completely alone. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. They work the perimeter. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Drains the shot. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. And the jam. We get another look. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. Of his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Here's a double team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here we go on the break. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? The replay will give us a better look. Both teams looking to get things going here. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Entry pass in the paint. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He makes a nice shot fake. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. First half update again, Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player, what do you think he's doing so far? I tell you, Brad, he's playing well, but his teammates have to really elevate their game. He has elevated his. He's showing why he's a PT beer. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not putting down with ease, Brad. for the steal in the post and he missed it Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively, he gambled. On the dribble, gives it up. Set that screen away. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score.
in the paint. Looking for the foul. Illinois are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Takes the pass in the paint. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Oh, yes. The skip pass is picked off. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> up for two perfectly executed oh, poor job poor job offensively I'm coaching he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach <laughs> he's pounding the ball in his deck where's he going gave it up that was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Three. Scorches the net. That's basic. On the inside. Now they'll bring it up. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy in the final. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He said, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. He goes to the line for the first time. He buries it. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball, and let him try to beat us. Jumps into the defender. Gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Defense, 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 defense. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. From three-point land. Drains it. Working it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. In the post. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. They 
working around the perimeter from beyond the arc. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Basket's good, plus one. He showed how a senior is supposed to play in big games, baby. The fighting Illini go to the line for the first time in this game. Good. Trying to draw the foul. Indiana are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Takes away the pass. Up and inside. He puts up the three ball. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. He intercepts it. Glad this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always model. Sets the screen for his teammate. And he missed. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Controlling the ball. Good job defensively. Great job of getting down the floor. Yeah, and they halted the fast break. Steel go up the other way, get a layup. They run it up into transition. Finney pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. To the charity strike. First shot is good. Second shot, no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Opportunity for two for one. Cross, pump fakes. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Picks off the lazy pass. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make a spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Kicked off. Now they work it around the perimeter. From way outside. Gets it to go. At the end of the first half, the Hoosiers lead by three. It's a close one, folks. What have you got, Dick, as your play of the half? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens.
Indiana gave a great rebounding performance in the first half of this one, partner. I'll tell you, great effort and great poise. That's a sign of a championship team, if you ask me. Our focus player update, Dick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the... It's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. He's got to get rid of it. He tries the three. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. In and out. They work it around the perimeter. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Obvious foul. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Gave it up. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. Steals a pass. Pass is stolen. Terrific gamble on the interception. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes it. Indiana are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Yes. Two at the charity strike. Double team now. Bad angle. Steals the ball. Goes up for two. Tickles the twine. I want to see that again. They move it. It blocks the shot. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. Up and inside. Looking for contact. You betcha. On the dribble, gives it up. 
He up fakes. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Now he's on fire. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us 10 seconds to put up a shot fakes the jumper with the fadeaway jumper look at that follow through and in and out the student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Great shot. Post flashes for the opportunity. He unloads a three. Got it. The fighting Illini are down by eight. The center with the ball. He goes up with a jumper. The two balls good. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He used the screen perfectly to put in the inside hoop. For the bucket, doesn't go. He attempts a jump hook. They still don't score. Tries to get the D to bite. Pressure that basketball. Tries for two. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The fighting Illini trail by nine. He shoots from right of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. In the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Takes it off him. Gave it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. 
Goes up for two. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. They'll work it around the arc. He comes away with it. He hammers it home. They work the perimeter. And we got a whistle and a foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. All right, thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Count that as a personal foul. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Here's a flash from the post up high. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Looking for a good shot on the inside. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. For the bucket and off the mark. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I'll tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the free throw line. There's a reason they're called free throws. Makes his second shot. Tradition is big around these parts. A lot of passion in history. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Got a nice screen. The fighting Illini trail by five. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. On the outside, he's open if he wants the shot. Or two, and he missed. That kid's making him think about every shot, Dick. And he's doing it without fouling, which is the key. In the paint, leaning in, trying to draw contact. The dribble gives it up. And, ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. Tries for two. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Puts it up, looking for contact. 
He knocks down another bucket, dude. This kid's got skills, Brad. Picks off the pass. Full court pass. High post screen, gonna use it. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Intercepted. They push it up on the break. Launches away. The fighting Illini have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes away the pass. There's the screen up on top. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. And in and out. Picked out of the air. He's got some room. He puts up the tray. That was nice. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Nelson receives the pass. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Buries it. Picked off. Gave it up with a long bomb. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. come with a double team to stop it stolen here they come the other way he got the dunk and one he saw nothing but rim and glory on that baby what a dunk Brad Dick we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Jumps in. Great shot. That's a 10-zip run. are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. There's the trap. It's stolen. They get out on the break. Or the bucket goes in.
Here's a double team. He takes it away. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. From left of the circle, way off target. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Too physical. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brian, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. For two. Good. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. He hits it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Now the high screen. Taken away. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow he throws it up from downtown wow what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper Baby, what hops? Goes up for two. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Picked off. He shoots from the top of the circle. He swishes it from downtown. Number 55 with the fake for the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Oh, yes. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. In the paint. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Second one is good. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. 
I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Illinois is now in the bonus. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, no, when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Makes the front end of the one and one. He can't get one to fall. Shot clock is dead. He takes it away. He shoots from long range. Gets it to fall. Indiana fought the good fight, but they still come up short. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.